Hey Virgo, welcome back to your reading. We're going to take a look and see what your messages are. From the time you're listening to this reading going into February. Actually, oh my gosh, it's the 31st already. So pretty much February. Yeah, we're going to take a look at February and see what messages there are. If you are new, welcome. Please smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy my readings. And if you would like to become a member of my channel, it's only $2.99. A month you can join get cool badges cool emojis and other perks shout outs all right personal reading link is in the description box below all right Virgo hope you're all doing well um, real quick before we get started I just want to give a couple of shout outs to our new members that we have um, where are you at where are you guys at okay uh, Debbie Rodriguez, Karmic Karen, thank you for coming back, and Nicole Duke, Darlene, Brenda Gaddy, and I, if I call, if I, uh, for some of you I might recall your name again, if I missed you, I will definitely go back and make sure that I call out your name. So if you were a member before, I've refunded everyone, and uh adjusted lowered the price actually so you guys can rejoin and still keep your status and keep your uh get your new badge all right all right so let's get into this thank you everyone for joining so not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation or a call or a person boundaries still angry all right virgo what's going on so very pedo are you pissed off or Actually, this might be somebody else who is avoiding someone. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, let me just say this. I'm going to speak about the other person because that's what came through after I first said that. You can reverse it, okay? But it looks like someone is avoiding, um, not dealing, feeling hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call, a person. Putting up boundaries because uh, that person is still angry. A person, someone is still angry. All right. See so the Ten of Cups. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Ten of Cups. The Emperor. The Hierophant. So it could be a Taurus. It could be an an Aries. So there's an energy playing out here where there could be a relationship. Where another person is just like, I don't want to even talk to you. It could be a father figure or a parent or an elder, um, a boss. Uh, somebody might be like playing hooky and skipping out and work and not answering the phone. But it looks like there's a fight. It looks like there might be some kind of an argument in a relationship. Uh, someone wants another person to talk to them and another the other person is like no putting up strict boundaries here even with the hierophant that's all about rules and regulations okay let's take a look a little deeper and see what the heck is going on here okay yeah we've got someone who is wounded a wounded warrior someone here who um very much in a hesitation position um I feel like someone is was previously hurt here, um, and that is every single time the uh, boundaries card. So putting up a wall because something was said. There might have been an argument or a fight or something. Uh, not was is being said, and there's an argument or a fight. Or for some of you, maybe it's already happened. But I feel like there's someone here who's being very persistent in not talking hanging up the phone leaving someone on red not responding to a text straight to voicemail yep somebody's walking away it's like you know what you can kiss my arse <laughs> that's what i feel like's going on here Whew. this is tough energy here this is tough energy what hold on okay i just saw the ace yeah i just saw the um the ace of swords uh, the ace of swords no the three of swords so there was there is some kind of heartbreak and argument in possibly a new love relationship um or about a new um a, there's a breakup the lovers there's a divorce 
okay? The lovers in reverse is like, we cannot see eye to eye. We are not in agreement with something here. Um, and it's, it's hurtful. It feels like there's something here that is very hurtful. It's a breakup, a divorce, an argument, discord, regrets, making bad choices. Um, yeah, I feel like... Um, Maybe even some depression. But the Ace of Cups is here. So this is calling for healing. Okay. Somebody is reaching out to another person because I'm hearing they want to fix this. They want to apologize. Um, or at least try to have a new beginning. Um, offering new love. That is the reason why one person is calling another. But the other is not ready to talk about it. We have Gemini energy there. The other person is not ready. Another person, someone's not ready to talk. They're just like, no, not today, Satan. I don't want to have the conversation. I'm too angry. I need to cool off. I'm not in the mood. I just don't have it in me. Uh, I'm too hurt. And there might even be like a proposal. Or it could have something to do with someone was hoping another person was going to take the relationship to the next level. Uh, there might have been a third party interference, which doesn't have to be infidelity. If you know that for a fact, it, 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 then that's your story. But there could be, you know, like this uh, work issue, health issue, um, family, colleagues, friends, interference as well could be showing up here uh, or going forward for you. Okay, not the best um, reading. Except for the fact that one, someone is like, no, I'm not talking. I don't want to talk right now. It's not time. And another person is keep is, will be keep trying to talk. Okay, let's see. Further down the line, what can you show Virgo about this situation? Oh, wow. The Hermit in reverse. You know, that's a heavy energy of isolation. So someone here has just completely disappeared with the hermit in reverse this is like oh it's just like deep isolation someone feels very lonely someone feels stuck doesn't know what to do maybe feeling like they made a mistake which we were talking about that. There might have been like a mistake that was made. Someone feels like they made a mistake in regards to something. So that's Virgo energy. That could be you or it could be somebody else you're connecting with. Really overanalyzing the situation. The Herman in reverse is deep isolation. You know, it's not just taking a minute to, to myself, quote unquote, and sorting something out. This is like I am totally just going off the radar. I cannot be reached. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. The Eight of Swords. Wow. And Justice in the Reverse. Oh, my goodness. You guys. This is a serious thing happening here. Um. Yeah. This is like... Um, I feel like someone is trying to escape for sure because some something something was not right. Hmm, is it you? It could be somebody might have been um very dishonest or unfair. And someone yeah, there's an energy here. Someone who's just like, you know what, I am I'm releasing this. I don't want anything to do with this. Someone wants another person to get their hope back for the relationship. They want to try to turn that justice card around and make everything right. Is why, you know, the calls keep coming in. But like I said, I feel like another person doesn't want to talk. It's either it's not time or it's just, no, I'm just moving on. Okay. I'm escaping. I want to liberate myself from this situation. I want to be free. There's Libra energy there. Okay. I want to either be free from, so it might be you wanting to be free from another person, 
for another person wanting to be free, possibly from you or somebody else, okay? But there is an energy of like, no, nobody's talking. Nobody's talking right now. Two people are not talking. Somebody feels almost on the verge of betrayed, you know, but I feel like someone feels on the verge of betrayal or that they're, they're, they, they're trying to figure out if they've been betrayed or what's going on, but possibly even going down the road of blaming themselves for what somebody else did. I hope that you understand this message. Okay, the magician in the reverse. Wow, it's like unfulfilled potential. Yeah, Gemini again. All my cards are coming up reversed. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse as well. I feel like someone was really greedy in regards to um, a relationship and or is being very greedy in trying to recover this relationship to go forward. But they are unable to make this happen because the other person is not trying to talk. They're not trying to ha even have it. So for some of you, this could be a story of you had a relationship with someone or there was something that was going on and something negative happened and you are just like, no, it's over, I'm done. I don't want anything to do with it. At this time in February, talk to the hand. <laughs> don't talk to me, talk to the hand. Pretty much. Okay. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, there's so much letting go and releasing happening here. And oh, page one's in reverse with the devil. There is, you know, I'm just taking my hand off the wheel. I feel like there's an energy here of just, you know what? I'm bored with this. I'm bored. This, this, there's an immaturity in this connection. You know, now some of you, I just will say, this could be someone that you are connected to who has a connection with someone else that they're ending the relationship because the other person was a liar or they, yeah, pretty much a liar with justice in the reverse. They were um, not telling the truth. And if this is your person who's going through some type of separation or breakup with, your, with their person, they don't want them anymore. But their person is not giving up. They're going to keep trying. And it looks like your person's like, no, I don't want this anymore. I'm done. Don't call me. They just keep hanging up the phone or blocking them or trying to isolate themselves from that person. For some of you, this is you doing this to someone. And for others, this could be somebody doing this to you. And if that's the case, I'm sorry that you're going through that. I'm sorry for anyone that's going through any kind of um, discord or issues. Sometimes they're blessings, though. So, you know, if you're feeling pain, my heart goes out to you. If it's happening to you, um, trust me, it will pass. You will feel better at some point, okay? Um, but if you're going through that, big hugs. I want to send you big, big hugs. I've, You know, heartbreak can be, it's so, it can be very devastating. So, please... Everybody's got a is on the spectrum of devastation when it comes to heartbreak or something happening or an argument or a fight. Just I feel like the best advice is to surrender it and just let it work itself out. But if you need to protect yourself at this time and you don't want to talk to somebody because of something that's going on, you have every right to do that. Of course, Capricorn energy there, even with that four of pentacles in the reverse, I just kind of feel like you, you know, you might have been vulnerable with someone or now you're just in this place where you can't hold on anymore. You're like bankrupt, you know, if it's you or another person. And it's just like it's done. Okay. You're suffering, Virgo. You are or the person that you're connected to. Oh, oh they just gave me a huge ring there. That's a sign. This For most of you, this isn't you going through this. For most of you, this is someone you're connected to who's going through this with another person. Yeah. This person's like, they're stuck, but they're they're suffering a bit because of this, you know? All their hope has been destroyed. Oh, the hangman in reverse as well. This person feels like they've been victimized. 
somebody did something to them that was really horrible pisces energy scorpio energy um yeah and and they're and they feel like whoever they were with was extremely selfish yeah i feel, i don't feel like this is your drama it might be and i'm not going to discount that or invalidate it if it is like i said big hugs to you but just getting that little ding alert right when i said somebody else this seems to be like spirit saying this is someone else that you're connected to okay hmm there might have been some potential with this person but it looks like they might have said well, we can just be friends or just friendly maybe like you know, it might be a soulmate connection, but it's not romantic. Okay. They might have had a soul contract with them that they had they needed to complete. And they may be completing that now. Going through this, this situation. If you're that person listening, if you're that Virgo, that, you know, you have a connection with someone who was going through some kind of breakup of some sort or needed to go through some kind of separation with someone and you don't know what's going on or if you should wait. It looks to me like they are going through that change at this time. It does. And it looks like it's going to be, it's it's coming to a finale in February. Okay. Outcome, one outcome card for Virgo. All right, Knight of Wands in reverse, my goodness. You would think. My cards are not all in reverse, you know. So um, so the outcome here is, you know, there's going to be a lot of chaos connected to this person. And I feel like, um, expect that. Their energy will be a bit chaotic. And that, I guess that's kind of expected, you know, when people are going through a breakup or a change, there's a little bit of chaotic energy. This person might be um, very sexual towards you because of this chaotic energy in a way of like dealing with their, their feelings. Um, so whatever you decide to do with that is on you. You make your best judgment for yourself. But I do feel like for a little while here, this person's going to be a little bit like leaning more towards the flirting um energy with you they might even go the way of just being very excessive or impulsive in their behaviors keep that in mind okay virgo just keep that in mind let me get some initials and see all right so we've got the number 66 someone might have bo been born in 1990 um, we have August 31st. We have the letter X. So this is about an X for sure. Someone's breaking up with an X. And most of it see, feels like it's you. Uh, you're someone that you're connected to. But it could be you as well. Okay. Keep that in mind. September 19th. August 27th. We have the letter Q. Um, we have the year 1967. We have the letter E. E for X. This is somebody's ex or some, or <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Someone's becoming an ex. That's all I can say about that. Let's see if we can just get a Zodiac, a Zodiac to uh, sign to see who it could be. Okay. For some, it's a Capricorn. Leo. Pisces. I think we said that. Whoa. A Taurus. These are the signs that, that are about to be an X. Capricorn again. I'm picking up strong Capricorn vibes. That could be their Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Aquarius and Pisces. Virgo and Leo. And Scorpio and Cancer. Okay. Let's get a charm for you guys. And then we're going to move over to Soulmates after this. Okay. So cute. So you do have a cat. You know, let me tell you the thing about cats. Like, and, I'm, and most of you know this, so I feel like this is what the message is here in regards to this cat. <laughs> cats don't give an F. They don't give a flying F. <laughs> they really don't. They just prance around. They do their own thing. They're a bit selfish. Whatever makes them feel good. They can be great lover. Like, I don't mean lovers. They're affectionate. But, yeah, I feel like... In this regard, I feel like this is a message where some of you just are like, either you need to be more like a cat and just be like, whatever, everything works out the way it's meant to. I'm not going to stress about it. If it stresses you, um, 
and to just, you know, focus, you know, the cats are very egocentric. So you might need to be a bit more egocentric as far as taking care of your own business. Um, or maybe you're just sitting there petting your cat. Some of you might have a cat called Star. You might have named your cat Star because you do have a star here. If you don't have a cat, that's fine. <laughs> Some of you might have a Leo in your chart somewhere. Um, this is make a wish. Virgo and it may or may not have anything to do with this portion of the reading but I feel like getting the star is just a reminder just make your wish set your intentions uh, say your prayers for the things that you hope for or wish for all right Virgo so um, that was short and sweet I'm going to leave that we're going to move over to the soulmates and see what's going on with this soul connection all right, Virgo, you've got soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Now I was talking about that just recently. Let's take a look and see. You got a soul contract with someone or someone you're connecting to has a soul contract with somebody else. Okay, the Empress, Libra, Taurus, Energy. Ooh, Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Feeling left out in the cold. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So I do feel like this is a continuation because it did mention soul contract in the previous reading. Um, so there is a there is a soul contract with someone. Okay. Someone very nice looking, very abundant, dresses very well very nurturing type of an energy but there's something here that's not happening the magician in the reverse unfortunately is like wasting time someone feels like they are wasting time with another person you know soul contracts are not always meant to be happily ever afters um we have a soul contract with someone and they have a they're not indefinite. They have a they have a term limit on them. So I feel like um could be a Gemini. I do feel like there's a situation here where yes, we are soulmates. Yes, we um yes, we have a lot of things in common. We have a tendency to understand one another very well. Um we have this like energy of we 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 mesh, we mesh very well. However, something's not going forward. Something's not moving forward here, okay? Maybe it's not meant to be a romantic relationship. Maybe it's meant to be only a friendship. Okay, so let me see. Okay, wow, well, temperance. Huh, made a cup. Somebody wanted... Virgo, is it you who's like, no? Are you either coming to terms that this that there's a relationship that isn't meant to, you know, some of you might be coming to terms in this month that there's a relationship here that just doesn't seem like it's going to be anything more. Um, but it looks like somebody else wants it to be more, the Knight of Cups. I mean, they offer this romantic cup, but then at the same time, it's, I feel like there might be somebody, Sagittarius, another Virgo, Taurus, I said that already, or Capricorn. I feel like there's somebody that whenever there's that Five of Pentacles energy where there's like abandonment or someone's really not available to meet the needs um, or when there's like a, like a time apart, that's when another person comes in and offers their love. And it's almost like a lack of consistency i feel like what's going on here i feel like it's what is going on here okay someone's trying to come towards you virgo and maintain some kind of balance keep the pace moderate moderate temper the relationship or just kind of like be more consistent and i feel like 
I do feel like perhaps you might have gone to this place where you're like, you know what, I'm too good for this. It's just not going anywhere. It's, it's not manifesting. It's scattered. I'm wasting my resources, my time, my energy, my feelings on someone. And then as soon as you walk away, it, they come back in and they want to try to keep things on even keel here with you. Okay. So... You might be trying to end something with someone and it's difficult for you because you keep coming back with this Knight of Cups. But understand that, you know, Knight of Cups is like a proposal. It's like when someone gets down on their knee and they propose, and I'm using this just, you know, hypothetically, or, or when they just ask another person to marry them, for example, um, that's only done one time. And that's what the Knight of Cups is. It's, it's, you only have that experience one time and that's why everybody records it they want it for the you know history they want it they want it to be remembered you know um the knight of cups is like in do it once and then it's done and i feel like you have someone here who's making a love offer to you of some sort it could be a proposal they could be offering you know that you know that whole ring scenario um but they also could just be coming in very romantic, trying to reestablish uh, or rebalance a relationship with you. But you're here. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is often the card of someone who's very dependent. And for some of you, might be very financially dependent. And you might say yes to someone um, due to your financial situation. That's not all of you, but some of you might. Okay. I, I will say this. Like... The good news is, for those of you that want it, there is an offer for sure coming in in February. Okay. Um, some of you, you know, you might not have a relationship established with someone if that's the case. Some of you just decided, you know, our will decide here in, in maybe the beginning of February that, you know, you're just going to focus on your abundance and all the great things you have going on for you. And not try to force a manifestation with anything or anyone. You're just, you know, you maybe you've been through relationships in the past and you just don't pan out or someone's just a scrub, whatever. Or you just keep meeting a bunch of adults and it's just not working. Um, so you focus on your own energy, making yourself like your main priority. And, you know, a soulmate comes in, okay? makes a love offer here so i just want to give a shout out to the singles here that february is the month of love go ahead and book your reading with me link is in the description box if you want to get a valentine's reading um okay the devil in reverse you've got the six of swords in the reverse four of wands in the upright 11 11 Hmm. I feel like the person who's coming in, and I'm going to just give it to you straight. This love offer that they're making, um, this kind of feels like this person, it's not, um, how can I say this? I'm going to just tell you straight up. Okay, this, this person coming in here, um, they want they want to build a foundation of fun with you okay they don't they're not getting attached they're not gonna get it they're not like trying to they're not obsessed they're not um for some of you they just want fun but for others they're having a hard time leaving an abusive relationship that they might have been in before they're struggling with that okay it's 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 hard because the six and the six of swords in the reverse is always someone who's unable to move on or they have you know uh they're stagnant okay um to come and try to have something serious so because of that any interaction with you yes they make these love offers but you need to know that this person the way they come in with this um, Knight of Cups, this romantic offer, is it's very fluid. It's not stable. I mean, if it was a Knight of, of Pentacles, then I would say, hey, 
looks good but yeah it's it's just a romancer i feel like someone's a bit of a romancer even though they would like to have a long like like to, to build that house quote unquote with you i feel like Mm, it's like hmm, either it's too soon for something to happen or this person is just with the devil reverse they're focusing more um on trying to get out of a bad situation okay that they may be in some kind of abusive scenario or situation trying to recover from that you know so they can't really give the full that you might want if you meet them could be a capricorn like i said uh, a Gemini, they can't really give you the full um, cornucopia. But there will be a lot of communication. You will find this person is very curious, asking a lot of questions of you. Hmm. Eight of Swords reverse. Now that's interesting. I do feel like um, this, yeah, this person is definitely trying to release themselves from a very heavy burden. And it might be another relationship with someone, uh, romantic or whatever it might be, or they're just under some kind of pressure or other commitments, okay? They can't give too, too much, um, but they are they are interested in you, Virgo. They do, they, I, they, I see them trying to learn as much as they can about you, understanding, trying to understand you more, very curious, watching you, that's for sure, seeking truth. Okay, this is interesting, Virgo. Your readings are always so interesting. Is it a soulmate? Yes. Can it be more? Yes. Is it a soul contract that has a term limit on it? Possibly. You know, it's it's hard to tell, but soulmate is soulmate. And it means that there there is a commonality that you and this person will have when you get when you begin talking, if you're not already talking. But I don't see you trying to manifest anything at this time. With the magician in the reverse. I feel like you're trying to recollect all your scattered energy as far as what you need to do for yourself, which makes it's kind of like, you know, you know, that popcorn blows up all over the kitchen, you know? Um, the only thing I think you're focused on is getting all that popcorn up off the floor and that's all scattered everywhere. You're trying to clean it up, you know, you're trying to clean up things in your life. Um, put all the pieces together organize figure out you know what you're doing and, and here's somebody coming in who's not quite ready to give to you fully or to have that stable they are trying to build it but they can't they're not giving themselves over to you fully just yet but they are interested and they will be romantic towards you you will get some romantic offers from them and they're definitely interested they think you're very attractive and very sexy and, the, and it looks like this person is interested but they i do see them they're trying to definitely get out of something they might have been a victim in an abusive relationship or something or that i don't see that they played the victim i don't feel like this person's coming in with like this damsel in distress energy like help me help me get me off this tr uh, train track you know i don't feel like they're they're doing they're not the, they're not the person who I, I don't see them placing themselves on the train track and then you know then crying wolf you know what i mean like it's like dude you put yourself there <laughs> you can get yourself out of it i don't see this person doing that which is good okay um i see this person is trying to have hope they're trying to liberate themselves or release something the burden whatever this burden might be they got their eye on you and they're definitely interested um there could be an issue with a child or something attached to school or parenting or co-parenting there there might be something there that um with the three of pentacles in the reverse is yeah uh, no support you know lack of support they may not be getting child support they may um maybe they're trying to pay their child support back if they have kids and they owe that um, but I feel like they're, they, they have, there's something to do with, ch with children or a child or school. Um, they're, all, they're doing it on their own, okay? Or they have their half that they're doing and it's, it, that might be the stressful energy there that they can't commit. They might have a child or someone, uh, a, a youngster that they're caring for that has issues or they're just dealing with uh, something like that. It's a lot going on. Usually in the, in the Operate the Three of Pentacles is teamwork, two people like setting out a plan and working for the benefit of, you know, someone else. 
uh, like a child or a school school age child or even like they could be in college and whatever it might be but they have they, they they're they're pretty much on their own i don't feel like they have help from another for like the co-parenting thing isn't working out okay so nine of wands in the reverse nine of cups in the reverse yeah things aren't going too well for them. oh my gosh i'm not laughing but this feels to me like why this person cannot fully commit to you or you know even be a family with you or move in with you or have a, a stable happy home i know this is so this is not very i don't feel like this is negative i feel like you have connect or, or, or if you haven't already you will be connecting with a soulmate um or, or talking or meeting this person you could be now but it feels like it's not time yet to kind of like move forward together um Yeah, I kind of feel like someone is, um, there's someone here that's paranoid. I'm hearing pa someone's paranoid. Hmm, like really paranoid. And maybe they've gained weight or they've gotten lazy and they're looking for a qu quick re result to a situation. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but someone is just not trusting. So that might be why they're very curious about you and trying to find out. Um, what type of a person you are or will be trying to find out what kind of a person you are I feel like some of you are already talking to this person this is why this I keep saying like the present tense words and for those of you that are okay coming forward yeah that's still kind of the same energy now is this the person that we were just talking about from the past or the past reading the, the first one that I did yeah it could be you know, because there were some issues there with the not today, um, where there was someone here that it seemed like they were trying to be done with someone else. And they're still going through it, even though they know you're a soulmate. Okay, so yeah, I kind of feel like that is what is playing out. Let's see if we can get some initials. All right, so we have someone September 22nd, we have initial P. Um, we have 59, age or birth year. We have the letter N, the letter A, hmm. August 31st. Um, someone, did you just wake up from a nap? Or someone's waking up from a nap or about to go get a nap? Or someone likes to nap? I guess if you're 59, <laughs> you probably do like naps. Um, let's see. Okay, you've got the letter A. Someone's in Padma. There's a connection to Panama. We have the letter C, the letter I, and the letter O. Okay. So these could be someone's initials. I'm just hearing Anthony. They're telling me Anthony. Paola. Uh, someone's name, I'm hearing Kane. That's a cool name. Someone's name is Kane. 1987, we have 64. Mm. Um, someone likes to go camping. Uh, someone might be using a cam. You might talk to this person like on a face cam. Okay, let's see if we can get a sign here. A zodiac sign for who this could be. All right, we've got Capricorn again. Keep showing up. And Aquarius, Leo and Taurus again. It could be this person or whoever they're dealing with. Um, Aries and Taurus. Let me just get another. Scorpio and Capricorn once again. Capricorn's showing up in your readings lately, I feel. All right, let's get a charm for Virgo and see. Oh, okay. Okay. Some of you, I will just put this together. Prosperity, financial prosperity is coming to you. I feel like you need to know that um, it doesn't I don't know it doesn't really have much to do with the reading unless this person's extremely wealthy and something works out which eventually will um, but an elephant is very significant to someone and the pentacle this is not um, I feel like people think this pentacle is satanic it's not it's it's the 
it's the earth sign pentacle okay so you know maybe you're going to spend a lot of money maybe you're buying an elephant who knows or some ivory um some of you might be taking a trip a safari trip too coming up but um i feel the strongest message here with these two charms is that there is prosperity coming to you and um it feels like because it's one pentacle it feels like some of you are going to be receiving an offer for a new job a raise promotion you have new income going to be coming into you um an investment that you make will be prosperous I, I feel like i need to tell you that i mean because hey we're virgos we like to know about the money and business right um as far as this whole relationship goes let me just take a look and see what the outcome or advice is for you virgo with this scenario outcome or advice for virgo okay oh you got the world in the reverse that's a card about permanence um uh i'm hearing hold the line virgo <laughs> stay grounded stay steady there's no need to walk away i feel like something with this person is going to be very nice work out um you may need to give patience um if you find that you have an interest in this person or there's something that you sense that soulmate connection that has an opportunity or a chance to go forward it looks like you may need to just there's on there's still some lessons to be learned so it's a soul contract it, it's term limit it's not up you might you might want it to be up because there's not much of this person giving to you and you might have a need or be in a rush um if but if you are kind of like sitting on the fence about it as far as like okay you may so they're saying i wouldn't walk away just yet that's the message um but do keep your options open because you don't want to pin your hopes on a on a possibility you know what i mean or a, not even a probability don't pin your hopes on any potentials ever <laughs> all right virgo so we're going to move on to hand of cards all right all right, Virgo, you have Hand of Cards, taking a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, and gambling. All right, so there's an energy here of someone is taking a risk, taking a chance. And that's the Ace of Spades, which is the Ace of Swords. So there's going to be some kind of new, new initiation, a new idea, mental clarity in regards to... Uh, someone gets some mental clarity it gets like this is that's always like my light bulb card this is like oh i have this great idea new idea um and and it's going to initiate something okay let's take a look and see initiate some kind of risk but not showing hand is kind of like not letting anybody know what the risk is they're going to take you know calling someone's bluff <laughs> all right so you have the five i'm sorry the six of pentacles the page Ooh, okay um it's interesting because there's three people on here one two three and the three people here one two three somebody was giving a, a lot of time effort and energy to a lot to different people breadcrumbing um dating a lot of other people okay or just sifting through the crowd of potential lovers is how they're saying it but i feel like you might have been one of them you you might have been someone who was in a queue of some sort okay and you might still be going forward um hmm but what is this risk hold on let's get the card what is this risk wow that temperance card keeps showing up so we have scorpio sagittarius knight of wands in the reverse death in the reverse the reason that somebody is keeping their options open and gambling with hearts playing with hearts 
meeting new people, initiating love with the Page of Cups there, communication, because, and, and even maybe even playing around the Knight of Wands in the reverse. And I am not justifying this, so let's get that straight. I'm just giving you a reason. It doesn't mean that you need to feel sorry for anybody or try and fix them. So please don't go that route. But I feel like the reason is somebody, that's how they find their stability. Believe it or not, it's kind of crazy. Um, there's this suffering energy. There might be somebody here that, you know, plays around a lot, is chaotic, sexual, excess, and impulsive. Um, okay. They take risks, physical risks. Okay. Now, does that mean you're going to meet this person? I don't know. Are you already dealing with them? I don't know. Are you someone that's already in a queue? Possibly. But with the death card in the reverse, this is telling me that this person, they have like hope destroyed. They, they're stuck. This person, it's like suffering. Okay. So they're trying to maintain balance in this lifestyle where they breadcrumb, they talk to a lot of different people, they're out socializing, maybe drinking and partying with the Three of Cups, um, always celebrating, always having a good time, dating around, maybe even involving lots of different physical partners. Um, it's pretty shitty. Um, there's a lot of people that, you know, out there in the world that, you know, the way they deal with their problems is they just put notches in their belt, you know, um, and I feel like they take a lot of risks with their health, okay? I really do. I feel like this person has a possible SEX addiction. They're on, they, they struggle to move on from that. Whew. They're stuck. That's kind of sad. Some issues come from the mom. Now, I'm not saying that. Ew, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that there, there might have been some either issues with their own mother or a past uh, female figure, okay? Something must have happened where this person just takes these crazy risks. Like they're always, I feel like it's, it's like a restless soul. It's someone who's reckless. They're restless. It's like an empty void, you know, they, they, they reach out to other people, they connect with other people, and then as soon as they're almost, it almost feels very narcissistic, as soon as they're done, you know, using up that energy that they so desperately need to fill that hole, then they go on maybe to the next and the next. There's something going on here. Oh, look at that. See, when we do reversals, we're always going to have a the other side of the coin showing up here. And I don't often do reversals because, I mean, they can balance out, but I don't often do them. This person, I will tell you, when you connect with them, or at least the energy for February is that, hmm, this person, either you're, you've already dealt with them before or you will be and it's somebody well i don't really yeah there is a new energy with that ace of swords i was picking up with the hand of cards like a new risk I, I let me just say this there's a returning energy with the eight of cups in the reverse this person might have been away or was doing whatever there was something going on there's, I feel like that Empress energy is you. The, this person, it's like returning to you. You are home for someone here. Now, that doesn't mean, and I feel like that the risk that they're taking as well is that they're, they're seeing that they have a problem, commitment problem, an issue with commitment. Now, does that, that does not mean that you have to take this person in right okay you're not a shelter right don't be a shelter <laughs> unless it's a puppy or a little child but you're not a shelter but i feel like this person they finally like they see how they're like a ghoster and they see it in their dreams you know i had a dream and i i had a dream last night that 
And it's weird because I don't often remember my dreams. I don't know why. But I dreamt about Kid Rock. (laughs) And like I was at his house. And he lived in like a really shitty house. And it like it wasn't even nice. And I, I was over there trying to help him with something. I don't remember what it was. Of course, being a Virgo in that service position, even in my damn dreams. But yeah, I don't know. If anybody like does like dreams, please leave a comment. And let me know what's going on with Kid Rock. Is, this, is that his name? Kid Rock. You know, he was he, he almost looked like a ZZ Top kind of person. But like, it's not anybody that I would ever be interested in. But I was trying to help him with like some papers or sort some stuff out for him. And he had a kid who was out in the backyard mowing his lawn. I don't know. Anyway, but this is all about dreams here. And I feel like this person is getting some interesting downloads through their dreams about how they ghost people. They don't want to ghost you. They don't want to do that with you. Something about you, Virgo, is tremendously special. Now, maybe you already know them or you'll connect with them and you kind of like square it up for them a little bit here because they meet you and when you're in that empress energy i don't care if you're masculine or feminine they see that beauty in you that beautiful soul masculines can have a beautiful soul as well and that empress energy is always someone who is like like they see the creation they see maybe you're a parent what a good parent you are um hopefully you are um, they see that the abundance within you or something about you that's different than all. I don't know. Do you remind them of their, their mother? The issue that they have with, had with their mother? Maybe. But in a positive way? I don't know, Virgo. I feel like this person looks at you and it's almost like you're a phantom. Like they can't... It's like everything else is so clear except Virgo. <laughs> okay. I mean, those are nice things to hear, right? Let's take a look and see what else is going on, Virgo. My goodness. Ooh. However, yeah, five of cups in the reverse. I feel like this person... Okay, they're just saying, if you had an angel that came down from heaven and stood before you, you would just be... And, I, and please, like... I don't mean to say this in like, I don't want your ego to like skyrocket through the roof. I don't mean it like that. If you saw an angel that came down in front of you, the glow of that angel, you would be in absolute awe, in awe. And the Empress feels like that angel to me. The Five of Cups in reverse is that recovery feeling, that hope sets in, that forgiveness. Or that, you know, hope is returning. This person connects with you and it's like almost wants to be better because of you. You connect with them, yeah, in February. Um, That's the risk that this person wants to take with you when they connect with you. There's something about you that, that they feel this sense of like warmth and hope where... You give them this energy of wanting to be a better person or or feel like a better person or you inspire them. You give them a sense of, I can do better than this. I can be better than this. I don't have to keep living my life in that same order, trying to seek out, trying to fill those voids. I don't don't know if you teach them something or if you're a very spiritual person. They they view you as a star. You give this person, and we have Aquarius energy there, you give this person almost like a feeling of um, clarity. Like, like I almost kind of feel like they would look at you like, you're a miracle. Are you real? The way I was explaining looking at an angel. You know? Are Are you real? Is this real life? I mean, it's really beautiful. You know? Um... Some of you Virgos, I know you have that nurturing, mothering, caring um, thing, especially the feminines, and um, or you just want to help, even if you're just the masculine, like you, you're very honest and truthful and logical. Um, but I feel like you can't help who you attract, right? And unfortunately, Virgos tend to attract those who don't want to love them they just want to need them they need help you know 
Um, and I don't feel like there's anything wrong with helping people. I feel like the best way to help someone that needs help is direct them to the place where they can get help. Especially if you have a tendency to want to just put yourself aside and give everything to someone. Um, people have to learn that they can help themselves. You know, I mean, I feel like you're kind of wasting your, unless it's a child, unless it's someone who's elderly and they're in a bad position or a pet, you know, a grown adult, if they are looking for help rather than, you know, a, he a healthy relationship, then they, they need to be redirected <laughs> right over here around the corner, self-help ATM, go make a withdrawal, you know? So I feel like if that's the scenario, probably not healthy for you, but I feel like there's inspiration that this person gets from you, okay? You inspire them to want to help themselves, which is very positive, and that's a big risk that they're going to take, and as far as them not showing that, you know, I don't know that it's not showing their hand towards you. I feel like they, in life, really just weren't being clear with themselves about these constant other options or even if they were gambling you know and and losing all their money on wasted you know playing the lottery every day is just a waste of money um or they were being strategic with stocks and they were making all this money but then they were losing it too and an up and down and very unstable you give them some kind of purpose you inspire them to to stabilize is how I feel, and to recover from something here. So, I mean, I feel like, hey, your job's done, right? As far as romance goes, you know, um, I don't know that that's going to come soon. I feel like it will, but in February, I feel like the most important message in regards to this person is when you're your best self, other people around you want to be better also. So it's not about telling everyone how to be better. It's not about forcing everyone to be better. It's just living your best life. People want to mimic that. You know, um, most people want to surround themselves. And most people who don't have a mentor or someone that inspires them or influences them just by their presence to be better or to live a good life, um, they generally won't. There might be some kind of miracle that you, you connect with this person and I don't know, just who you are changes something in them because they kind of look at you and see how you glow and they want that glow. And they look at you and they're like, how do I get that glow? How do I get that? You know, an angel is an angel, right? So, but you can aspire to be angelic, I believe. So yeah, you do that for them. Um, does that make them fall in love with you? I mean, I, it does give them a sense of like, this is someone I could spend the rest of my life with versus the mess it around you know now are you going to meet this person perhaps um or do you already know them you're already connecting with them perhaps but this is just an energy that i'm picking up for february so hopefully it gives you something let's get some initials and dates numbers all right someone's born in december we have the year 1982 we have the letter i we have the letter R, letter A, we have 60, September 21st, August 31st, is, that's like a, that's like a state, that stay number, that always comes up. Uh, someone is an air sign, uh, someone may be traveling, or in an airplane, can you, yeah, you could be up in the air right now, listening. <laughs> okay, we have the letter F. Uh, I just heard a uh, wrestler. Someone's a wrestler or does wrestling. Um, <laughs> I just saw this. It's crazy. FML. Uh, there might, this person might have been all about, you know, FML. F my life. And they just were like, no, nah, there's no hope left for me. August 28th, September 12th. Okay, let's see. Um, someone smokes Marlboro cigarettes. And uh, someone has an amplifier. 
There's doing something with an amplifier, like for music or sound. We have the letter L again, um, and 33. So I'm also hearing, okay, either the name is Ariel or Arius. Someone could also be an Aries. Um, I'm also picking up MILF, <laughs> MILF or f filth. <laughs> filth um okay this last part's going to be a little short let's see if we can get a direct couple of direct uh zodiac signs all right virgo and cancer uh, virgo again and libra so we could be on the cusp of virgo libra cancer and aquarius and Libra and Pisces. Okay. And get a charm. Charm, charms. Don't forget, if you're a member, you can click on the emoji that says charms. It says charms, charms, charms. I know they're really hard to see. I have to figure out how to make them a little bit bigger. Um, it's a one to one ratio, but I don't know how to make it bigger. I keep trying. I'm sorry, I was pulling some charms there and I wasn't paying attention. All right, so you have a unicorn. No, it's not a unicorn. Wait, what the heck is that? Hold on, let me look. Oh, at first I was, first I thought Pegasus, but no. This. This is some kind of a horse. Okay, I'm going to show you. Because I try to say it and it's like, what's that girl talking about? See, I don't have great vision anymore as I get older. This is some kind of a horse that has, it looks like jewels on it. Or maybe even like pentacles. Can you see it? It looks like it's got money. A uh, money horse? Is this a money horse? What the heck's a money horse? They're just saying. It's got some kind of like pendants or jewels or... Does anybody know if that's actually a thing? I don't know much. They maybe even be smiley faces. At first I thought Pegasus, and then I thought, um, un at first unicorn, and then I thought Pegasus, but maybe it's like a prize horse. Somebody gambles, somebody bets on races, like horse races. And it might be like an addiction. Try to see if I can get this closer so you can see it but yeah youtube i mean uh my camera's like nah oh that's a little bit better can you see it it almost looks like pentacles so yeah this feels like putting money down on a horse money down on the horses um for sure okay that there we go we figured it out someone puts money on the horses they bet they gamble but they need to like give it up to jesus at this point like they need to recover i feel like someone might have a gambling addiction this is what this is really turning into they need to surrender okay so it's either that or maybe it's you uh might be a message here for you um that you get inspired by somebody but yeah virgo i just i kind of feel like um you know whatever the heck is going on here February, you have a huge either spiritual or glowy influence or impact on someone in February. That really gives them cause to take a look at themselves um, and how they don't commit and how they are generally just <sighs> living in fantasy land or, or just dreaming and, and being... I just want to say, like, they non committal, someone who has just pretty much lived their life, uh, like, I guess it's more along the lines of, like, just having too many choices and not being able to stick with anything being very it's a very unstable energy just not being able to commit living in fantasy land hopes and dreams and just constantly oh chasing the waterfalls or um and it's getting them in trouble okay they're not being they're not grounded or down to earth or realistic but something about you causes some kind of shift or change maybe it's just something you say or just the way you live your life or behave but 
it's to the point it gets to the point where they need you um they need that energy in their life because they're reckless or restless all right i'm gonna leave that there i hope that you guys enjoyed that or it gave you some insight into something i don't know personally that's why i say these readings are entertainment purposes only because they're general on youtube if you want to book a personal reading with me that's not entertainment it's because it's not for an audience that's personal so definitely check that link out below don't forget to join the channel here just hit the join button it's $2.99 a month and you'll get a new badge um, and you will reinstate your badge as well and it'll be cheaper and you'll get all those customized emojis and the shout out perks all right you guys i hope you had um an awesome awesome day tomorrow i'll be back with the weekend reading um and for anyone during this reading that has joined welcome thank you for joining i'll give you a shout out in the next reading tomorrow so yeah you guys have a fantastic night day afternoon morning and i'll see you back here tomorrow bye oh and thank you to the mods just want to say steve o steve b melly persephone jason thank you so much you guys shout out to the mods all right bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light-filled life thank you bye